Hey YouTube, how you guys doing today? Kevin here coming back at ya. Alright, so now we're working on the Tecumseh engine that we had on the stand there, that little uh, stand. And uh, one of my YouTubers actually came up with a brilliant um, comment, which this is why I like it when you guys comment. Because it gets my motive thinking, okay? So when you pull the engine over, okay, it is counterclockwise, okay? which is the direction we need. But the muffler now is right in the way. If we put the clutch on, the chain is gonna hit the muffler. So, I could use a jack shaft, which is what I had mentioned I might do. But this is a two-stroke engine. This can be mounted in any direction. So, before, you guys remember when I cut the mount? Well, I just notched out the other side. I cut the side already earlier, and now I notched off this side so we could flip the engine and have the exhaust over here. And then the chain will go backwards and it'll be all nice and free and clear. Now, I left the, um, the carbody um, fuel tank assembly off of this because the fuel tank is actually be mounted on top on the bike frame. So, we're going to remount this engine up and we're going to rip off that carburetor. I was going to use the original carburetor because it's a, it's a pretty cool looking carburetor. But the problem is with it is with the air filter assemblies all my options are too far out or they're too deep so i was going to use the tecumseh oval filter but it goes down too far so that's not going to work then i was going to use the big fat round one but that's too big so i'm actually going to get rid of that carburetor altogether. um we already loosened up the bolts to it i'm going to get rid of this carburetor altogether. we're not going to use this carburetor um, I was going to use a bowl style carburetor, which is what I'm going to use, but I'm not going to use a Tecumseh carburetor. Why? Because everybody uses Tecumseh carburetors on Tecumseh. And there's no fun in doing that on this channel. Why, why be the same as everybody else, right? So let's get this carburetor unbolted. Plug up the place the gasket, yeah. Alright, that came right off, that was easy enough. Easy peasy lemon squeeze. Oh, there we go. Okay, got that out. Yeah, that carburetor is nice, but we're not going to use it. Okay, so we got that part out right there. And then it looks like inside there. If you can see that on the reeds, we're not using that setup at all. So, um, anyway, now what we're going to do is we're going to unbolt these bolts from the carburetor, hey, from the uh, engine block. If you guys can see what I'm doing here, let me move you back over this way a little bit more. And I'm going to um, tilt you guys down. There we are. Alright, so I'm unbolting the bolts now. And we're going to flip this engine 180 degrees so that the muffler is on the other side. Just like so. And then we're going to mount this engine plate, uh, plate up to it like so okay just like this okay now the engine will be facing in the proper direction And we'll be faced with a whole new set of challenges, I'm sure. But now, now the chain will, the clutch, whoop, where are you guys? Now that the uh, muffler's on this side of the plate, the chain will go backwards where it's supposed to go. Muffler will be in the right spot. And then um, we'll be able to go from there. There we go. Get this thing snugged down. If you guys can see how it looks now, let's see. I'll move you guys down a little bit. Right like that. Now it's sitting in the right spot. And now we're faced with a whole new set of challenges. 
Okay, so we got the starter. Now the starter is pretty cool on this bike because we can angle it at any uh, any degree we want. Provided we get the bolts out of it. <laughs> so it uses these little dog locks. Once you undo these dog locks, if you can, put all breaking off in here. Wow. They're really in there. Of course they probably haven't been off in all oh, few decades. Okay. And now, we'll rotate this around so it comes up at an angle. Or I can have it come pull back, like so. Which is the way I think we're going to have it done. So it goes up like that. Now we're on the bike, we can pull it over. Love these two strokes, man. You can do so much with them. We do have to pull this uh, whole starter assembly off because there's a kill switch underneath, which I could technically leave it there. Kind of be like a uh, security thing. I really don't need to mess with that. I know where it is. Yeah, I'm probably going to leave that switch there. There's a switch right here for the kill switch right here but I know where it is and I know what direction I'll just write on the case there which direction so the, now the engine is completely turned around and we can pull it over this way no issues now for the back part okay so here's the back part right here and that's your pulse right there that's your pulse for your um we have vacuum okay on this side right here there is none so it just goes through that to the um, carburetor, like that, it's just a spacer. All right, if you guys can see, no, you can't see that. All right, well, let me move you up so you guys can see what's going on. All right, here we go, sorry about that. All right, let's move you forward, actually. We'll move you forward and tilt you down a little bit. I have a feeling I'm right in the way in this video. You know what I mean? So right now we're going to work on what we're going to use for a carburetor and how we're going to do this. Alright, so we have the carburetor gasket right here. And this one is just basically a block off plate, which I'm okay with. It's going to be like that. And the carburetor we're going to be using from the lawn boy. Oh, you guys didn't expect that? Okay, so let me guys explain to you guys a little bit about why I'm using the Lawn Boy Cob. Okay? So I'm going to move you guys back here, and I'll, I'll do all my explaining. Not mansplaining, explaining. Okay. With this air filter, I have perfect clearance all the way up to my chain. Where my chain is going to go right up to there. Okay. It's going to be an outboard. So it's going to be perfect. Second off. Okay. The air filter assembly is built onto it. And it takes a piece of foam. So I can easily get the filter. And I have a fuel filter right here. That I can run up top there. And I have clearance between everything. The throttle linkage. Is just basically. I cut off. Off the factory carburetor. This wind fill. Or this wind vane. This wind vane right here was put on right here on the carburetor for the um, the lawn boy. Okay, so I cut that off and drilled in that hole. Now I have a mount right here that I can run my cable to to give myself the throttle. I kept all the other pieces from it. I kept the, the bracket, the you know the um, the linkage for the lawn boy because if I ever had to use this back on the lawn boy, I easily could. Okay. Do you see that gold brass screw right there? Well, that's not a screw. If you look inside of a dirt bike carburetor, okay, you have the slide. That needle that's on the slide, that's a fixed needle. I can change my top end with that. I can make it richer. I can make it leaner. It gives me a little bit more versatility on two-stroke with this carburetor. It's got a few benefits to it. 
and one really bad downside. One, it can't corrode and it's easy to clean. Okay. Two, it fits on here nicely. And three, the air filter is easy to make. I could just put a piece of foam in there and I can get them anywhere. Okay. The downside to this carburetor, it's plastic. Okay. So whenever you have a plastic carburetor on a motor, um, heat tends to be a little bit of an issue with them. Um, this one right here has been on a two-stroke before, so it's not really that big of an issue. But it um, okay. Um, it does make it a little a little bit more. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I gotta get that bracket off there. It, it does. It could be um, a danger issue if it broke off while you're on the bike. So you gotta keep that in mind. I gotta modify that screw hole a little bit bigger. Cause it was just a little too tight. But for modifications, all I did was open up the holes, all them out a little bit, so I can um, do that. So I could put that on there. Other than that, this is gonna work out perfectly fine on the bike. It's going on a mini bike, so you're gonna have this here, and then your fender is gonna come right here. So with your fender right next to the air filter, nothing really is gonna happen to it. It's actually protected from that. Um, that's one of the benefits to doing it this way that I'm doing it. But other than that, that's pretty much it as far as that's concerned. So I gotta open this up a little bit more, and then I'll be right back. Okay. So, we got the carburetor all mounted on. I just grind, I just opened up the, uh, in between the two holes. I had to file up so it's smooth and fits on it. Look at that. Nice, nice fit. Got this all screwed down. And then I replaced, I couldn't find the Phillips, the flathead screws that I wanted to find. This is the factory one that came out of here. But I had two screws with a couple lock washers like in the back. So I put them on there. That's fine. I'm not really crazy, going crazy about it. And then, uh, so there she is. That's how she's sitting right there. Um, this weekend, I'm going to put the uh, clutch on it. We're going to clean up that shaft. And then, um, of course, we're going to have to fire this thing up. And um, I might mount the fuel tank back onto it just to get it so we can start it up and all that. But um, that's basically what she looks like right there. And we have to hook a primer bulb up to this. This is a primer carburetor. There's no choke on it, which is nice. So we're going to put a primer bulb on it. And uh, we're going to make a little bracket for that um, so it fits on the front of the motor like uh, like it's supposed to. Put a primer on it, modifier, and do our linkage. So it's already got a return spring, but we're going to do another return spring on it. Um, once again, everything on this thing is plastic, so the, the, the carburetor is really, how would I put it? It's a great carburetor, but that's its only flaw is the plastic. But it's got a nice Kawasaki green color to it. Which I like. It's a solid mount. I can pick the engine right up from the carburetor. I mean, it ain't going anywhere. You know what I mean? So, and I got plenty of clearance to it. So we're going to put the clutch on. And then um, get that all situated and all set up. And then, boom. Things going to be in, an excellent, uh, excellent, excellent motor. I can't wait to uh, fire it off. We're using a heavy-duty fuel filter. So when it goes up to that... Um, the petcock on the filter, on the thing, it's going to have a nice filter filtration system. There's actually a second filter in this. There's one inside the carburetor um, on the jet. So we got the modified muffler to fit, carburation, status flipped around. I like the fact that it's got dogs. If you ever see these, you can put this on any one of these little squares. Any one of these. You can put you can put this at any click. Click, 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 all the way around. You can make it go straight up. I like them pulling backwards because it's more comfortable. When you're grabbing the engine, you can just pull it back, you know. Um, but, yeah, no, this is sweet. This is a good, 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 good system set up. I'm very, I'm very happy about it. And uh, I can't wait to run this engine on this bike. So, anyway, guys, that's what I got for you today. I just wanted to do a little bit of a modification. Don't want you guys to think I forgot about the Tecumseh. Um, we're going to just keep crack lacking on these things, on these little projects. This is going to be a really cool mini bike motor. And I like it even better now that it's got a custom carburetor on it. Um, from a lawn boy. Lawn boy carburetor on a Tecumseh engine. Um, 
this muffler turns out is uh, for a snowblower. It's not even for this engine. Uh, that's why we had to modify it to fit. But, I mean, it fits on there perfectly. And um, it's going to keep it nice and quiet. Between this and that adjustable center. Um, I'm going to see if I can find a mount. Because I would like to mount a dirt bike carburetor on this engine. Would be really cool if I could do something like that. I'm sure there is. If you guys know of any links to any adapters. Or you know of a better carburetor. By all means, please share them. Please let me know. Um, the carburetor kit did come in for this engine. I don't want you to think I gave up on it completely because I didn't. Um, on this carburetor right here. I do have the carburetor kit and I am going to rebuild it because it is a good carburetor. There's nothing wrong with it. So, um, it's the diaphragm side. The old tilt's in there. So, I do want to keep the carburetor. I'm going to keep it. Um, we'll use it on another build, I'm sure. But just the fact that we have it and that we can utilize it means a lot. So, um, that's where we're at with that. And uh, we're not going to go crazy. Too crazy with it. Yeah, right. And uh, But I think I'll show you guys how it is. So, um, thank you guys for your comments. Because if I wasn't, if I didn't get the comment, I would have probably put this thing on the machine. And also that the muffle was on the wrong side. Or had to do the whole jack shaft thing. Now I don't have to. Now with this right here with the clearance and everything else, I mean, it, it's going to be perfect. So, um, I'm probably going to build a guard just because it's a plastic um, carburetor. But, you know, we'll go from there. We'll see how it goes. So, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you guys have any questions or any comments. By all means, please share. Please let me know. Um, and thank you guys for going on this crazy journey on this little motor build. Um, I got this motor when I picked up that KV-75, the guy had that there, and, um, I couldn't pass it up, and it looked like it was in a really, really cool condition. Unfortunately, I really don't have anything for it to go on, so I said, you know what, I'm gonna put that on a mini bike. So, um, can't go wrong with a little mini bike with a little three horsepower engine. The carburetor is off of a four and a half horsepower, um, what do you call it there? Lawn boy, but nevertheless, same setup, and it will work just fine with the jetting and all that that it's got. So, I'm looking forward to putting this on. I can't wait to uh, fire it up with that carburetor and letting it go. I already cleaned the carburetor, um, which I did on the lawn boy videos, the lawn boy that I have out back. And that lawn boy is, uh, <laughs> okay, that motor is going not to be on a lawnmower. We're going to use that lawn boy engine on something else. So, I'd like for you guys to uh, contemplate that for a moment. So that I didn't mind ripping the carburetor off of it because it's not going to receive this style carburetor. So, that's how I roll. I don't do stuff like uh, they're supposed to. I modify things. I make things better and uh, faster and more powerful. So, we got the mount made, well not made, but uh, modified, exhaust and cooling fins are modified, carburetor is modified, fuel system modified, we got to do the primer bulb, and uh, the tank is going to go up top, so I'm excited, I'm, I'm super stoked. So anyway guys, thank you for subscribing, please, um, please if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, and hit the bell notification, that way you guys can, uh, you know, get the notifications when I post a video. And once again, guys, thank you for your support. Um, to all, I'm going to do a quick shout out to. Uh, I get a lot of comments from the the, uh, the men and women over there in the Philippines. Thank you very much. Um, shout out to you guys. Thank you very much. And uh, also in Pakistan, I've been getting a lot of um, feedback from the bikes over there in Pakistan. So thank you guys and in the U.S. of course. So um, keep up the uh, comments and um, thank you guys for all your support. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm out.